This illustration deals with AC or DC general use snap switches in accordance with 404.14b1 and b2. And the main purpose of change is to uh, list requirements for loading these switches and uh, prevent overloading these switches with loads such as lighting. Uh, and, and to kind of review this, uh, uh, let's look at the, uh, the call out uh, to the left it would be uh, E uh, there. And notice that a 15 or 20 amp AC DC toggle switch can be loaded to 50% of its rating when used to control fluorescent lighting. So we have a, a specific loading for that 15 or 20 amp. So in other words, if you were uh, supplying uh, uh, an AC, uh, type load, then notice uh, the, uh, the 20 amp uh, switch, if that was a rating, you could only load it uh, to 10 amps. So this was, this is giving you the loading capability of the switch based upon what it's switching there and it's switching, you know, incandescent. Now to the right uh, of the illustration, uh, you're switching fluorescent luminaires or fixtures. Uh, however you want to call that, and notice that uh, if it's an AC switch, you can load it to 100%. Uh, it, it would be legal. And notice, I think we'll just uh, uh, call out uh, next, we'll go up to the incandescent lighting, 410.110, to the illustration above, and uh, notice a 20 amp a toggle switch can be located uh, or loaded, excuse me, to 20 amps. 15 amp toggle switch could be loaded to 15 amps, uh, you know, such as an AC uh, in accordance with 404.14A1 and A2 and 404.14B as in boy one. But notice it's important to know is it an AC switch, D switch? a DC switch or a combination type, AC, DC. We have to know how the switch is listed. But notice we are controlling incandescent lighting and uh, fluorescent lighting or luminaires. Uh, we would address 410.110 for incandescent luminaires, but for uh, fluorescent luminaires, 410.104. Now, uh, secondly, let's... Uh, Take a look at the 20 amp switch. Uh, it should not be mounted at a greater height with a toggle in the on position to the center, more than six uh, foot seven inches. And we find that height in 404.8a, but there's not a uh, minimum. Uh, it's just a maximum of six foot seven uh, that we would read there in 404.8a. And then notice. Uh, if it was 12 amps, that motor load, if it was 12 amps, it'd be 125% be a 15 amp switch. We take 80% of 20, 16, yeah, that will uh, supply the motor. So this points out that the 125% derates the loading of the switch 80%. And we know if we divided one uh, by 125%, you'd come up with 80. If you took 80, and divide it into one, you'd come up with 125. So if you had a 14 amp motor load, then you'd do the same thing. With a 12 is, you would take 14 amps times 125%, and your switch would have to be capable of switching that load. And of course, you know, we found that 430.6A1 uh, is where we would pick up uh, that valuable uh, information. Now, the quick calc over here shows the same thing. If we took a 12 amp uh, uh, load uh, that was required to be increased to 125%, we come up with 15 amps and 80% of a 20 amp overcurrent device is 16. So that 20 amp overcurrent device is uh, adequate to switch that load and control that load in accordance with 404.14A3. Uh, 
Now, reviewing the notes, let's look at note one at the very top of the quick cap. D is in dog there. And requirements apply to electronic uh, uh, type ballast, uh, self uh, ballast, uh, uh, lamps, fluorescent lamps, uh, uh, LEDs is outlined in 404.14A5 of the 2020 uh, NEC. Uh, and uh, notice that uh, you, you, you must not load these switches more than 404.14 and its subparts uh, identified to us. Now, and uh, permits. Now, the final, uh, final, look at the final note uh, two right below the fluorescent luminaires at the right hand side of the bottom uh, illustration. Then notice for sign switches, we'd see 600.6 if we were using a, a general use toggle switch. For motors, we'd see for control uh, 430.83, but for disconnecting, we'd see 430.109, and we'd also see 431.10. Now, what, what we're talking about here, in 431.09, uh, we're horsepower rated. In 430.110, we're breaking the load in amp ratings. So we want to keep, our, keep yourself straight when you're reviewing 404.14. What kind, what kind of load are you switching? What kind of load are you controlling? Is it incandescent lights, fluorescent lights, LEDs, motors? Uh, exactly what are you trying to disconnect, control, and switch? That's the important thing when you're applying the NEC regulations of 404.14.